Hey guys, RJ Gaming here, and today I am playing. Um, uh, did you guys read the title? Because if you didn't, then you're a bad person. You guys should have read the title. All right, today I am playing Crash Landing. Um, just in case some of you are wondering why this does not look like normal Minecraft, this is not the uh, this is not a texture pack that comes with the mod pack. Um, I got it from the mod pack launcher. It is the Sortex, I believe is what it's called. Yes, Sortex. Um, so yeah, um, we're going to create a new world right here. As you can see, it's not a normal Minecraft world creator thing. Um, it is modified to where you just name the world. And you will see how the world will look like. What should we call it? Um, I'll call it... Um... 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 Um, fat. Yes. Wait, no. Wait, yes. Fat. Okay. Sounds good. Um, now we play the waiting game. Alright, we're in the world. Okay. Um, you just loaded in. Um, okay. So I know how to start this off, but, uh, for those of you who don't know how to start it off, um, I'm gonna be going kind of quickly, so you better catch up. First thing you wanna start with is type in slash hqm quest it will give you another book which you don't need so I'm just gonna put in this library right here and then this is the quest book quest will be here I don't wanna listen to this guy because we have to hurry up um, uh, you cl this is the serv this is the first quest you have to get two fluid transposers where do you get those from they're right here let's go to them there are these two right here you get them um, and then you claim reward um, you will get these materials right here. We need the camel pack and we need one, two, three water bottles. We're going to put them in the camel pack and we're not going to wear the camel pack yet. We're going to wait until our water level goes down a little bit so we don't waste a lot of water. Uh, we're going to put one of these back just because that's for a later quest that's later on. Um, I'm kind of going fast here. You have a needle gun right here. Um, that you can shoot stuff with this in case of night time. Um, I, I haven't showed you the outside yet, have I? Okay, so to load up the needle gun, all you have to do is right click and then put one in there. And as long as you have these in your inventory, um, it will keep reloading by itself. Uh, real quickly, I'm going to enable magnet mode. So this is how you do it you go to inventory, you click on go global, you right click this. And then you click done once it goes to utility mode, which is right here. And then, there you go, turn on magnet mode. Alright, cool. Um, my water level is good enough now, so I'm just going to put it on. Uh, you don't have to wait like I did, but I just wait because I think it's better. Um, uh, what's next? Um, oh yeah, let's... Um... Alright, so what we're going to be going through is the easy route, because the hard route is too hard. This is the hard route right here. This is all it gives you. It, you need one dust to claim, and this is all it gives you. We're going to get the easy route, which will give us a lot more items, including this thing right here. That's called a shell constructor. What you do with a shell constructor is I'll show you later. Uh, it takes a bit of time to do stuff. Uh, let's manually submit, and let's claim reward. Alright, this is what you do with it. We're going to get um, our leadstone energy cell. And we're going to put it right here. What we do with this is we click on configuration. It will show us this. You see how this is orange right here? This doesn't need to be orange, so I'm just going to make it blue. We need the left one to be dark orange or red, I think that is. I'm not sure which one it is. But you have to click it two times from the blue. And it will switch to this. And then you put this right here. And then you right click it. As you can see, it hurt me once. And I'll show you what this will do soon. Um, if you guys can try and guess what this will do. Unless you already know. Don't cheat. Um, okay. So we're going to go. Um, this we don't need right now. Okay. This is the stuff that we have currently. So we don't need to make a crafting table. Because we don't have wood yet. Because we're bad at the game. Uh, we have an oak sieve though. Um, this is what we start off with. And then we have these things right here. I'll take the food. And then I'll put these up here. And then I will put this right there, put this right there actually, and this right there. There we go. Okay, uh, what do we need to do next? We're just going to collect dust until it becomes nighttime, which I can't really tell. Oh, that's a nice sun with this texture pack. 
Alright. Um, I've never used this texture pack before, but I've heard it's pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna mine dust until it's nighttime. So, I'll see you guys in, what, five minutes? I don't know. I'm not a Minecraft professional at time night. Daytime night. Oh, yeah. This is what magnet mode does. Um, usually, you have to be, like, right in front of the block to collect it. This magnets the block to you if that wasn't already obvious to you guys all right yeah i'm gonna collect this and i'll be right back oh yeah um i forgot since i f uh since i saw this liquid i already forgot about that uh i'm gonna do slash game rule um mob griefing false because once creeper touch this thing they instantly explode they don't burn this is not lava uh this is called blazing something let's look uh, up blazing Blazing Pyrothium. What that does is once a creeper touches it, it literally explodes instantly. And it will destroy the area around it, which I don't want to happen because I'm scared of creepers. So I'm just going to turn off mob briefing so they don't blow up the blocks around them. So yeah. That's disabled now. Okay, so I'm kind of tired of uh, collecting dust. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to collect these last pieces here. And what we're going to do now is something um, very helpful. This looks actually kind of nice with the texture pack. Anyways, uh, we're going to do something helpful. We still have a lot of daytime left. As you can see, I've only like spent a minute collecting dust. So I think I've got enough to build a base around my base, if that makes sense. Um, just because you'll see why. It's going to make everything easier. It's going to make life easier. So... I'm just gonna build the space and I'll be right back. Um, we kind of ran into a problem. Well, actually, never mind. We have a lot of dust. I kind of ran out of dust on the last few blocks. So I'm just gonna collect some dust here and then close down these blocks and I'll see how much day we have left. Um, I kind of have a lot of day left. So I'm just gonna collect more dust just to make, uh, just to, um, go inside and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with this dust I'm gonna do stuff with it yeah you heard me correct alright guys it's almost night time um, and I remembered I have my F3 menu open right now um, at night last time I played this at night when lots of mobs spawn and there will be a lot this is a dark world at night um, if you look at the top right corner right above my minimap it says used memory and then it says 57%. That's because I haven't allocated a lot of memory. So I'm going to go ahead and close down my Minecraft. And I have to allocate memory from the FTB launcher. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, like I was saying, hopefully we don't die. Because it's night time now. And look at my minimap. You can see the mobs. There is only two currently for some reason. Well, that's actually good, isn't it? Yeah, that is good actually. I just noticed that that's good. That is not bad, okay. That is not bad at all, okay. Uh, what we need to do now is we're going to go and complete some achievements. Right here, the very basics, we need one dust, one bone meal, and one water bottle. We have all that stuff. Um, the bone meal we got from a previous quest, that one, 64 bone meal. Just in case some of you guys th that it's thought I that was cheating. So we're going to manual submit, claim reward. And we're going to get our first piece of dirt. What do we do with this dirt? Um, we're going to grow trees on it. Because we're farmers. Yes, we are. Trust me. I got this. Um, we're going to put a tree right now. Oh god, no. I just wasted the bullet. That's not good. Um, we also got some bullets from the easy route. Uh, we got four... Or magazines. Is that what they're called? Ammo. I'll just call them ammo. Okay. So yeah. Now, there is another achievement, drinking mud, dirty water bottle. We need the dirt, actually. I lied. We're not going to use this dirt yet. Um, and this, as you guys heard that explosion, that's because uh, what I told you before, um, uh, the creepers explode in that water or in that um, um, blazing thing, blazing pyrothium. Yeah, that's what it's called. So creepers explode in that. Oh, there is another explosion. So that's why you hear explosions out there. Oh god! Oh, I forgot about sp spiders! <laughs> Let's get some of this so they don't come inside when we run in. <laughs> okay, uh, 
I'm I'm still alive. That's good, right? Uh, we should get some of this just in case of emergencies, and there will be a lot of emergencies with me. Trust me. Um, so yeah, let's keep completing quests. Then there is purified quest, which we need one water bottle for it. Claim reward. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so this is what we have right now. Um, so yeah, uh, what we need to do now is tools of the trade. We can't do this. Oh, stone hammer reminds me. There is, uh, I'd say, ooh, okay, this is finished. Okay, so this is what the shell constructor is. Um, what the shell constructor is, is it builds you once you right click it. And I am a Steve for some reason. So, um, yeah, I'm a Steve. Right ooh, the camel pack is showing actually. That's kind of cool. Alright, anyways, I'm a Steve, and um, what this did is it built me inside of it, and once I die, I will get teleported inside of here. Even though it's a hardcore mode, I have one extra life because of this shell constructor. So that's good, right? I hope. Um, so yeah, uh, what we do now is... I don't know, I forgot what we were doing now. Um, hold on, what, do, what were we doing? Um, oh yeah, quests, yes. Okay, so there is a exploit, I'd say, with cobblestone. You could get a cobblestone generator very early game. Um, so that's kind of cool, right? Um, yes, it's very cool, trust me. This is It's very hard playing this game. Okay, let's keep completing quests. What we do with this dust, it's not useless, and it's not only for building bases because we're, we're scared of mobs. Um, actually, let's make some trees first of all. Uh, I'm gonna be cutting some trees now. Um, oh yeah. Okay, so with your first tree, once you get your first tree... Oh god. Oh god, once you get your first tree, you don't want to die by a spider, alright? That's a very important note. Just make sure you have that in mind. That's why the, that's where the needle gun comes in place. Okay, once you get your first tree, you get this bottom piece of wood. You do not break any of the freaking leaves. Oh god, I'm poisoned. What kind of spider was that? I'm scared now. Hello? Ow! Um, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm alive. Okay, he's right above my base, so I gotta be very, very... Oh god, I should not do this, actually. I should hide. I did not think about that. While I'm hiding, I'm gonna do something very, very useful. I don't know why I was shaking my mouse there. Okay, I'm gonna get this chair right here. Um, if it breaks... Oh yeah, I have mining fatigue. Um, so I got this chair, right? What we do with this chair, we're going to place it right here, and we're going to place the back seat because it looks hot like that. And, like I was saying, this dust is not useless and not only for making bases. You can save it for stuff. And what I mean by for stuff is this. Once you save it, it has a random chance of giving you stuff, like I just got pulverized aluminum, and if I get four, I put one, two, three, four in my crafting table, and I will get something, which I'll show you later on once I get it. Um, and each ore, uh, you can get iron, aluminum, and some other stuff. Here, I'll show you what you guys can get. Um, this is what you can craft with it. Uh, these are the items. It also shows you the drop chance, um, so stone has a 20%, so on, there's bone meal, there's salt, pulverized iron, so on, so on. Uh, there's also a fish, so that's kind of cool. Uh, that's Why would you eat fish out of dust? I would not, well, I would do that if I was in a dust planet. But yeah, okay, so if you guys are wondering why I'm sitting in this chair, um, you do not... I, uh, at least I don't think you I don't think you lose hunger. Oh god. I just threw a piece of stone. That's really bad I, We shouldn't do that. Okay. Anyways, why I'm sitting in this chair is I don't think you lose hunger while sitting in this chair 
So, um, hunger is something really important in this mod pack. You can lose ha hunger really fast, and same with water, as you can see right down here. So, uh oh. Um, so yeah, sitting down, you don't lose hunger. You do lose water, but the important thing right now is hunger. So yeah, you gotta watch out for those. So, um, in the bottom left, you can see a water bottle and a thermometer. The thermometer is your heat. You want to keep your heat um, as close as possible to that white dot. If it's the if it's at the red, that means you're in a really hot place, which you gotta be careful because you'll get a heat stroke. If you're in the cold, I don't know what it's called. I'm guessing cold stroke. That's I don't think that's a thing, but I call it a, a cold stroke because I'm stupid like that. But yeah, that's what you get, and that will slow you down, give you mining fatigue, so on, so yeah, you gotta be careful on that. And same with hunger and health. As you saw, like when I when the spider hit me and I was at two hearts, um, I could not move fast, I had mining fatigue, that's because I was low on health, so that affects your stuff. And it's almost daytime here, so that's good. So the spider, there's two spiders now. Hello, sir? Hello? Oh god! Ugh. Oh god, that's the spider! That's the s you mean spider. You're such a- Oh god, you're such a meanie. You are such a meanie, you should be nicer to me. I did nothing wrong to you, and all you did was poison me. Anyways, when you get your first piece of wood, you don't want to make a crafting table like I did the last time I played this mod pack. You want to go into your cr crafting table that comes with the mod pack, and get some planks, you want to get four sticks, I'm going to get eight because I can. And you're going to make this thing called a crook. What crooks do is when you hit um, leaves with it, it has a higher chance of giving you saplings and a worm, a silkworm. What you do with a silkworm is I'm going to give you this right now because it's not really needed. In this mod pack, at least, if you're playing a skyblock, you do need a silkworm. But in this mod pack, what a silkworm, or in all, pretty much all mod packs that have this mod pack, or uh, that has this mod, uh, what a silkworm does um, is, once you put it on a leaf, it will grow around the whole tree, and it will make the leaves white, and um. <laughs> I don't want to be messing with that thing. Oh god, that yell. Hello, hello. No, 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 no. Don't move fast. Don't move fast. I'm trying to shoot you here. Oh god, it's coming down. Okay, he's dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. Alright, he's dead too. Okay, that's good. Ali, uh, dude, that's sad. We didn't get a tear. And our inventory is good. Uh, full, I mean. Um... There's creepers outside. Uh, hopefully they don't do any danger or harm to us. Uh, they are dangerous to us, but hopefully they do no harm. Uh, we're going to bone meal some of this. Uh, we're going to keep this down here right now because I'm going to make a chest soon. Um, um, so I'm going to just uh, crook this tree. Crook this tree. All right, that sounds weird. But until my crook breaks so I could get this gunpowder. And... Um, uh, I need to get hungrier so I can eat my sandwich, my PB and J. Um, oh, okay, so yeah, broke, now we can get this. Um, um, what do we do after this? I'm kind of lost right now. I should check my achievements. Um, once I cut down this tree, I'm gonna make a chest. So, oh, we got a worm! Oh god, he looks weird in this mod pack. Or in this texture pack. I get all this stuff m messed up. I'm really sorry. But I do. It's just something with my face. Head. Yes, head. Brain. Brain is a closer world. World? Word. So, yeah. Um, let's go into this crafting table. Make a double chest. And that's a creeper that just exploded in the background. That can't be good. Uh, let's get this. That's not a double chest. I am very, very stupid. Uh, let's put this chest down. And let's put the stuff that I don't need right now in here. I don't need this. Um, oh, yeah. Pulverized aluminum ore. I have four of it now. What you do with this is you put it in your crafting table. Uh, and you'll get aluminum ore dust. Which, if you cook it, you'll get aluminum 
ore or aluminum ingot and that's what you do with that same with iron same with all that stuff uh, let's make another chest because I was stupid enough to not know what a double chest is or how to make a double chest so let's do that and let's put this down here and let's put that stuff I should keep the emergency glass with me um, uh, what do we uh oh uh, you see how I'm starting you see that water around me that means I'm starting to sweat that means I need water right now um, or else I'll get a heat stroke so let's get some water bottles and let's put them in my camel pack why you don't drink them is a camel pack works better I don't know how but I know that it works better that's all I know so we're gonna put it on and as you can see down in the bottom left my thing is starting to go up now um, so yeah uh, we have a nice view area here of the mobs outside um, oh yeah talking about mobs outside they should have all burnt so we're gonna go outside hopefully not kill ourselves I don't see any mobs outside right now so we're gonna go outside yeah you see now I'm starting to collect loot all this zombie flesh is gonna help out a lot because I'm gonna get a lot of food be, uh, from that uh, let's get a bit more dust since we're out here um, and I will be right back okay um, I collected the dust that I needed to get and let's eat a sandwich now um, and what do we do now Let's jump down here without taking damage. Um, for those of you who are, who are wondering, there, you guys, some of you guys are probably like, "What are you doing with your life? You have unlimited water right here." If I right-click this with an empty water bottle, it will give me a salt water bottle, and I can't drink the salty one because, well, um, I'm not gonna go into science, um, but uh, it's salt water is bad for you. Don't drink water from the ocean. That's all I'm gonna say. So yeah this gives you salt water salt water not normal water even though it is normal water it gives you salt water because this mod pack is mean oh yeah um one more thing before i end this um episode which is in a couple minutes here what we can do with this remember the exploit with the cobblestone this is what the exploit is this stuff acts like lava what this stuff does is, um, if you guys are playing this too, uh, don't stand next to the um, um, fire because it's going to raise your heat level. This is pretty realis realistic, so yeah. So this stuff acts like lava, so you can actually make a cobblestone generator, which is super OP because this is really early game right now. Um, and this, a cobblestone generator is late game, so we're getting it right now. Us getting it right now is really OP. Um, so I'm just going to leave this right under here um, until I find a good place to stop. Um, one more t maybe. Alright, that that's good enough. Now we're going to go right under here. We're going to go right here. We're going to go right down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the water. And we're going to lead it right to this blazing thing. Um, so let's go ahead and go down here. Oh yeah, this mod, um, or this ship, has some clay here. I don't know why a ship crashing would make clay and water. But that's good, right? You can make bricks. I'm sorry. Okay, so what we do now is... Is... Hold on, I'm gonna make this reach. You're gonna reach water. Okay, there you go. Good water. Okay, now we have a cobblestone generator, which is super. We're not supposed to have this right now. Like this, we're not supposed to have it. And us having it is pretty good. I'm sorry for those of you who are mad that I'm actually exploiting this. And I'm guessing it's nobody because nobody's gonna watch me because I'm really bad. But. For those of you who are watching, uh, thank you, and um, yeah, this is how you get something really early game, and it's going to be really good for your series, or game, Siri thing, Siri, okay, I'm going to, I should stop talking about Siri, um, um, yeah, so we have a cobblestone generator, uh, before I end this episode off, again, let's make some tinker stuff. I put that in there. Um, I'll just put this stuff away right now. Okay. 
should we do one more achievement before we end off? Oh, let's finish this achievement right here. So we need salt, we need rotten flesh, and then we need zombie jerky. How we make zombie jerky is we need rotten flesh plus some salt. 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 There is the salt. Okay, rotten flesh plus some salt equals zombie jerky. So once we get zombie jerky, we can eat it and it will not hunger us like the normal zombie flesh. Um, and we're almost out of water. We are out of water, actually. And it's almost night time, I think. So that's scary. Uh-oh. Um, let's do this fast. I'm gonna get go get some tinkerer stuff. So, um, we need wood. We need a crafting table. So let's get go ahead and get a crafting table. We need, um, um... Um, we need wood, uh, we need, uh, sticks, and how much will this make me? This will make me, this is not, uh oh, um, they don't have the easy recipe, do they? They have the hard recipe only, dang it, we do not have enough wood, okay, well it's almost night time, um, uh, I, I guess I'll make a pickaxe next episode. So, yeah. Yeah, pickaxe next episode. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, if you did, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.